Using volume profile could be a handy tool in determining trade ideas. Let's take a look. Here is E-mini S&P 10-minute candlestick chart. And I have a volume profile histogram on the right-hand side of the chart. And you'll see three different shaded areas. You'll see the gray area in the middle, which is the value area. That's what we call it. We have blue area on the top. That's prices above value. And we have blue areas on the bottom. That's prices below value. The longest histogram bar is called the point of control, and that one is colored pink. That's where the most volume has traded throughout the trading day. More volume at this price than any other price. Now keep in mind, each histogram is eight ticks or two points high. I know it doesn't look like that, but the average range is in the last few days of the E-mini S&P has been big, so there's a lot of data we're looking at. So. I'm going to look at a transition area between the value area and prices above value. And I'm going to see an upward trend. And the trade idea would be, well, I would like to go, I would like to buy, but I don't want to buy until we get back to this transition. So what we could do is place an order, click on the buy button on the right hand side, right at the transition price or near the transition price of 30, 81 and a half. Let's set the stop loss first. I'm going to put it right back, really just north of the point of control. And then my target, my add auto exit limit or target, we're going to put up here toward the very top prices above value. I'm going to go ahead and put my buy order in. Let's take a look. Now, you can see the trades here are overlaid on the histogram chart. So what I am going to do is I'm going to move the histogram chart over to the left hand side of my screen by clicking the left adjust area. I'm also going to add the lines, the extension lines, so I could see it better on my chart. Oops. And I'm going to hit done. Okay. So now let's go ahead and reposition everything so we can see it a little better. Here we have a OTO, order triggers order. This is a limit order that was sent to the exchange to buy two contracts at this price to buy two contracts at 81 and 3 quarters. The child orders surrounding it haven't been sent to the exchange yet, and, but they will once the two lot contract or two contract limit order gets filled. And then these two orders will be sent to the exchange as an OCO, order cancels order. This is our target, profit target, and this would be our stop loss and the OCO instructions as well as the OTO instructions are held server side so you don't have to worry about it you could log off and let this trade percolate so here we're being patient we're hoping we get back to the area the transition area between prices above value and the value area and then our stop of course is again is right above the point of control and then the target is uh, somewhere closer to the highs or very high into the prices above value. So that's one trade idea. That's one way that traders could use volume profile, especially with respect to the value area, for trade entry and exit ideas. Hope that helps.